What's up, Word Nerds? It is Wednesday, November 10th, 2021. Welcome to Puzzle With Me. My name is Lawrence, and I am going to solve today's New York Times crossword by Max Chen Loring and Benjamin Chen Loring. Um, I'm guessing two people that are related somehow. Um, and I'm going to uh, give my comments as I go along today. I'm in a, uh, uh, another kind of a Yesterday, I was in a weird energy place when I had to do this video. Not had to, wanted to. I, I said had to because it was the only time that I had to do it. Um, not like it's a chore to do this. I love doing the crossword, um, but like just uh, in terms of my schedule, the time that I had to do this. Um, same today, I'm in a weird energy place right now. If you couldn't tell by just my weird ranting. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> by tangents that I'm going on. Uh, but I'm in a good mood today. I, I'm i a school teacher, I'm a high school teacher, and I did a crossword in class today with my students for the first time. It's the first time I tried doing this. I, I teach English um, as a second language, and we did a crossword together, and uh, my students like enjoyed it, it was fun. So anyways, um, uh, that made me really happy that I got to share my my passion with my students. Anyways, Reading of Stax Records should be Otis uh, at one across. And my... Oh my goodness, it's frozen. Oh, there we... What is going on? It's frozen. Ah! Ah! What is going on with the app? Oh my gosh whoa okay so um you can't tell from the video but um i am um like moving i'm trying to move around the the um crossword but my cursor is not having it um i'm gonna have to stop this hold on Okay, um, so something weird is happening with the New York Times crossword app right now on my iPad where um, normally I use the arrow keys on my iPad's keyboard to move around, but they are not working. They're not responding. Um, it was, I, I was trying to tap the screen and, and do other things to move around the grid before and it was having severe lag. It seems to be working now if I tap the screen to move around. Um, and I can still type on my keyboard. It's just the arrow keys are the only thing that seems to not be working. Um, so I'll just uh, power through with what I'm able to do. And hopefully this is just a bug that will get worked out or something. I don't know, but I'm gonna power through right now. Uh, Nordic Capital is Oslo. Um, Marvel movie directed by Kenneth Branagh, that's Thor. Johnny Carson's home state, I'm guessing, is Iowa. Lotion letters, SPF, maybe? One who's got the goods. Uh, shop owner? No, shop something. Shopkeeper, maybe. Uh, 56 across to a dairy farmer. Low fat milk, maybe? Um, I'm guessing this is the, the theme, maybe? But, uh, I don't know, just low F, dairy, low fat milk fits. Yeezus rappers, Kanye, there we go. Uh, hold up. Hmm. Uh, order back. Order back. Mockery of a sort. Uh, motivational speaker, Robbins. Oh. Motivational Speaker Robbins is, who is that? Tom Robbins or something like that? Genesis Craft, oh no, that's Ark. So maybe, is it Mel? Something like that? Hold on, let's go in the cross here. Uh, it often surrounds high maintenance people. It often surrounds high maintenance people. Not sure. Side with Tandoori Chicken, that's Nan. 56 across to a smartphone user. Hmm, interesting. So what is this small amount? Hmm. No fat milk. Something else to a smartphone user. 
Eponym of a famed New York City deli, nope. Contents of Lago Titicaca would be agua. Uh, South African currency, don't know. Backed up, say, don't know. Gold standards. It's dried stalks can be used to make didgeridoos. Oh, interesting. What do they use to make didgeridoos? Hmm. The dial in Don't Touch That Dial is a tuner. Attractive, fashionable man in modern parlance. Hmm. South American currency backed up. Hmm. Okay. Uh, mockery. This is maybe aping. Uh, order back. Remake. Re. Oh, demand. Maybe demand. Hold up. That I'm not sure. Is this a dying battery? Could be. Hold up, retain. Detain. Retain, detain, detain makes more sense. Maybe it's not demand. Re. Demand, drama? Drama does surround high maintenance people. Okay, on and on and on. Uh, uh, to no end. Cartoon character who says swiper, no swiping. What? Swiper, no swiping. I have never heard of that. Day of the week named after Thor is Tuesday. Actress Chaplin is Una. Uh, Nuff said maybe? Oh, this doesn't seem right. Oh, it's not Tuesday. <laughs> Hold on, it's Thursday. Hour hand, of course, Thor Thursday. Whoops, sorry. Uh, Battle of Britain Groove, R-A-F. Uh, Dora says swiper, no swiping, I guess. Uh, 56 across to a gambler. Unfair something, maybe? What connects these? What small amount would connect these? Skim? No. I don't know. How do, how do you connect low-fat milk, dying battery, and whatever this is to a gambler? It's interesting. Uh, X or Y in math class should be axes. Stinger? Don't know. Jump on the ice is an axle. I think it's spelled like that for figure skating. State bird of Arizona or South Carolina that I do not know. Author of the Fierce Street series is R.L. Stein. Still don't know that bird. Is in hindsight was? Oh, is it a wren? Wait. right? Ray? Is it a Wren? But R.L. Stein wrote Fear Street for sure, right? Is it not spelled e S-T-E-I-N? S-T-E-N? Because this also looks strange. B-L-N here. Hold on. I'm gonna leave it as it is for now. I'll come back to that when I figure out what 34 across is. Uh, what's 35 down? Olympic event featuring a table. Olympic event featuring a table. It's not table tennis. What else do they use a table on? I'm not sure. Not bring up, omit maybe? Popular flip phone. 
of the mid 2000s. Oh, Razor, probably. Unfavorable, yeah. Wait. So this is, oh, my backspace doesn't work on the keyboard also. Jeez, uh, that's weird. Uh, so we have, I think this is Ren. Is it not Stein? I could have sworn it was R.L. Stein. But unfavorable odds would be probably what it, this is. I still don't know what it means. Uh, Reddit Q and A's are AMAs. Buzzfeed offering is a quiz. What is this? Vault. I guess the vault has a table. Uh, wait for the light to change, say, idle. What helium and nitrogen lack? Helium and nitrogen lack. Odor. Uh, exploits uses. Exploits uses. Uh, plant used by ancient Greeks and Romans to treat wounds, probably aloe. Sworn words, oath. Uh, becomes more and more irksome. Festers, maybe? Disdain. Uh, title woman in a hit song by Dexy's Midnight Runners. Don't know. Frothy beverage. Not sure. To 56 across to occupy protest protesters. Hmm. Ones who treat people poorly. Probably QU something. To occupy protesters. Lookalikes, twins maybe? Blank the Clown, classic episode of The Simpsons. Is it just Krusty? Or is it, no wait, I think it was like Homer the Clown or something like that. I think that was an episode of The Symptoms. Of The, the Symptoms, The Simpsons. Yeah, succeeded in would be one at. Uh, put into law and act. Uh, Apple Variety iMac, mish, mishap during a shave, is a nick, isn't it? So this should be a nick. Homie the Clown? Is it homie? They consist of, yeah, okay, there we go. They consist of reps, sets. I'm really thrown off by the fact that my keyboard is not working properly right now. It's very annoying. <laughs> I'm trying to get through this. Uh, the ultra rich, probably. Bad in Bolivia. Uh, uh, mal malo or mala? Malo? Make a mess of things. Frothy beverage frappe, maybe? Uh, title woman in a hit song. Don't know. Disdain, scorn. Okay, what is this small amount? Dedicated work. Ode? One percent. Oh, a small, one percent is a small amount and it can mean different things to different people. So to a dairy farmer, low fat milk is one percent milk. <laughs> so sorry, Jesus. Dying, what is going on with me today? Dying battery uh, is at 1%. Uh, unfavorable odds would be 1%, and the ultra rich is the 1%. That's good. That's great. Writing tip is uh, the nub or nib. Actor buddy, maybe Ebsen. This would be then Eileen, right? Uh, pharmacist's workplace in the hospital is the dispensary. Uh, CBS series with spinoffs, CSI, Rustic Verse, I don't know, bit of hair decoration, bead, wanna bet, uh, Professor Iggins is Henry, and textures are en Henry, Henry, uh, TTYL, an idol, for the rustic verse. Uh, okay. Um, 
I really thought this was R.L. Stein, S-T-E-I-N, but maybe it's S-T-E-N-E -E, and it's just spelled that way and I never realized. I don't know. Okay, uh, backed up, say. Hmm. Oh, maybe saved. That fits. Uh, is this a dandy? That doesn't seem like modern parlance to me. Eponym of a famed, yeah, I don't know what this is. South African currency, I don't know. Oh, this must be agave, I think. Um, gold standards, oh, carrots. Okay, it's not a dandy. Uh, it is something else. What is this? Kate? Uh, Kate, Rant. shoot, I don't know either of these things. I don't know this South African currency. I don't know this deli. Is it Kate? Katie? Um, yeah, I think I'm going to have to use a lifeline here, get this thing to, well, first let me check on what's wrong with the puzzle. So we'll check the puzzle, see which squares are wrong. Oh, we got a few here. Jeez. Oh, X or Y, not X and Y. So it's just one axis there. Okay. This is a K over here. And then uh, this is not a Y. E, uh, D. Uh, I, I really, eponym of a famed cat's ring. Yeah, okay, don't know this. Oh, we got it. Jeez, what was it? Cats with a Z and Zaddy. I have never heard that before. What the heck is that? <laughs> a Zaddy? Jeez. Well, there we go. Um, that was a Wednesday puzzle. Sorry, this was such a weird video today. Uh, just crazy stuff going on with the, I don't know if it's the app or my iPad or my keyboard, um, but uh, something's wrong. Hopefully that'll be fixed before tomorrow uh, or I, I'll, I'll try and figure out what the issue is. Um, if it's the app, I suppose there's nothing really I can do about it. <laughs> uh, maybe I can just solve it on the website instead of the app tomorrow, um, if that's what it is. But anyways, um, yeah, cool theme. I like the theme. I like that there's no, um, it's not your typical revealer, like, or, or where in the clue for the revealer, it doesn't like say, or a hint to the themed answers or like, you know, etc. cetera. Um, it's just, it's an answer by itself, 1% as a small amount. And then the other ones reference it instead. It's a nice little kind of reverse revealer. Um, and, uh, but like, even as you saw, even without knowing what the revealer was, like all of the themed entries are, were still quite gettable on their own because like Occupy protesters, like you have enough phrases and things swimming around in your brain about that, that I was, I managed to figure out that it was the ultra rich, same for unfavorable odds, dying battery and low felt milk. I, I managed to guess at what they were with like, less than half the letters for most of these. So, um, that's, that's good. That's pretty good, uh, crossword construction there. Um, I like the Thor and Thursday, uh, cross reference in there. Um, some, some tricky stuff in here. Remand for order back. Um, I do like drama for often surrounding high maintenance people. And uh, I do like, I mean, 
learning new stuff is always good. So zaddy, I'm gonna look it up right after this. It's And it's a modern thing. So maybe it's one of these words that is very much in the zeitgeist, but I don't get because I am not living in the US. And so um, I don't hear these things around every day. Um, so that's cool. Yeah, I dig it. I'm in for it. I like it. Nice puzzle. Nice Wednesday. Let me know what you think. Uh, are you a zaddy? Tell me yes or no. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, I'll be back tomorrow. So do please subscribe to the channel and, and like this video and, and come back tomorrow to do the Thursday crossword with me. So see you then. Bye bye.